السلام عليكم متابعين ترو جيمنج انا نواف النغموش واليوم معانا سباستيان انريكي الليد برودوسر لعبه فيفا 2016 فخلينا نبدا في الاسئله So before we start, uh, first of all, congratulations. The game works really awesome. So thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So can you give us some information about how the gameplay has changed since FIFA 15? Well, it's a lot. It changed a lot. It changed everywhere. The, the key for us was creating a, a really, really balanced game. So there are a couple of things that was a main feedback from 15. Uh, you know, when people were playing online, they were probably uh, abusing of players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, like uh, players that were super fast and, and good at dribble. Uh, so and it became just abusing of those players from going from midfield like uh, all the way to the box and trying to score that way. <laughs> so it was extremely difficult for yeah. defenders to counter that, and uh, and it also because of that and because of that speed, it became the, the midfield just a transit zone. Oh. So what we're doing this year is putting a lot of emphasis into the defensive play, into the defensive uh, artificial intelligence, uh, to make a game much more balanced. But we did so many things in terms of defense that it also allowed us to do things in terms of the offensive play and new mechanics like passing with purpose and no touch dribble to, to actually counter those defensive yeah. things. Uh, but overall, it's a truly balanced game all over the pitch. So it's how Im uh, like uh, improving the defending is going to switch the game player, switch the dynamic of the game player? So just by doing uh, what we call interception intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, you know, people were used to make a pass uh, like a kind of the ping pong passing yeah. and, uh, and easily getting from one box to the other. Uh, so with the interception intelligence, the players are going to be much more aggressive uh, intercepting the, the, the passes. So just transiting from one box to the other is not going to be as easy. You need to work your way on defense so the, the defensive zone becomes a battle for position again. And so just that by itself is a game changer. But then we have the, the new slight tackle mechanics that you can start up ahead of time, much more uh, be better intelligence into when to come back to position, when to mark space, uh, like a plenty of things. Okay. So we're used to the, la the latest game, EA has been focusing on like ha to have to make players have emotion in the game. Yes. Are you guys improving that in the new one or is, or is it staying the same? No, all the time, all the time. So we, we are refining our, our uh, like uh, the, the emotional in, uh, intelligence that we did last year, we're continuing refining that, adding plenty of animations, plenty of more reactions, interactions, and you have some new cool stuff. Like, uh, yeah. for example, uh, when you score, if you go and celebrate with a cameraman that are like uh, in the lower end, uh, so you would see a players just doing stuff with the camera, or you can go to the bench and celebrate with the, with the players that are on the bench. That's cool. Like a lot of different things just to make the game much more authentic and much more realistic, like the vanishing spray, what are in as well, like a plenty of things. Usually in soccer, when a, a, you know, a player passes a ball or shoots it, but he misses it, right? Would that, like, missing the ball would make, would make him emotionally sad and that would accurate, like, diff, uh, will be different? Will affect the players? like movement through the game and will be will he be like awful in the game throughout? So we, we, we still don't want to go to affect gameplay because of the emotional state. Uh, we don't feel ready to do that. So okay. it, it, it's a really uh, like a huge effort and, and uh, we need really accurate mental attributes for all the true. more than 16,000 players in, in the game. And uh, so it's tough enough, it's difficult enough to capture just a physical attribute. Mm -hmm. So imagine the mental attribute. So yeah. it's something that Eventually, probably, I think we're going to explore in more detail. For now, we're, we're staying away from it because okay. we don't believe that today we can do it well. Awesome. Okay. So last year, you guys added an option button, a, re a rest start, where you start with the same team or you start with different teams, right? Uh, our, a lot of our readers have been asking us, can you actually do that? But like with a different formation or a different tactic, or is it stay as the same? Can you guys do that? Uh, it's good feedback, so it, uh, I haven't heard that so far, so I'm going to take it back to the team. So yeah, we, we a lot of people have been asking about it. They really need it. So, <laughs> so I've been I've been playing a lot the game and like usually FIFA in general. I've been playing it a lot. Always the match day and stuff. And I don't like the players called for international duties to go away. And while ha important match has been happening for me, so is that going to still happen in FIFA? Because it cost me to lose many games. <laughs> uh, well, we try to be in a, as accurate and authentic as possible. Definitely. So if a player is out of your team, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my life for that happening for me, not, not yours. But okay, with a new turning animation in the game, will that lower the chances of the player? like hitting each, each other player without having the ball because knowing that it's a red card if you don't if you bump in another player without a red, without so the, having the, the, ball. the rules system is, is so we call it the rules the, the the cards and all of that is something that is very very subjective okay. so if you look at us so we are from i don't know 20 different nationalities on the mm -hmm. team 
and uh, we see food all different. So I'm yeah. Argentinian. Uh, I think uh, I'm more I rough than other people, <laughs> and uh, we are all the time when we're playing. That was not a yellow. Come on, that was not a penalty. <laughs> so the discussion in the office is insane, yeah. but it's something we continue tuning. And as long as 90% of the times we are in alignment yeah. in the office, we know that we're ready to go out. Okay, awesome. So Ultimate Team is everyone's favorite, right? And what other moods in the game are you guys adding? And what's new in that mode? So we're not talking yet about what's coming Ultimate Team. Okay. Like games come time, but let me tell you, there is a new way to play coming within Ultimate Team mm -hmm. that we cannot stop playing it in the office. And hopefully, I'm pretty sure like uh, people will be really, really happy. Awesome. Give me a second. Okay. So, we in Saudi Arabia recently opened uh, Al Johar International Studio. And, we need Im and, and are you guys have any plans to implant that in the game? So, there are things that are coming for the region. I cannot talk about it yet, but I think uh, people will be happy. So, we, we always. Like, uh, we, we truly appreciate the Arabic community. So, you know, we are the first EA Sports title to produce in Arabic yeah, content. That's all and so uh, we keep supporting it and we're not forgetting it this year. Just wait a couple of months and you will have some news. Awesome. Okay, one last question. What is your favorite team and favorite player? Favorite team is Tigre. In game and also in real life, by the way. In real life. So, yeah. I just, in game, I just play with uh, Tigre or with random teams. Uh, so my, my love is on Tigre, it's a small team, first division in Argentina, yeah. small team. Uh, favorite player, Maradona of, of all times. Of course, a legend. <laughs> thank you so much, Sebastian. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.